Well, hello there, and thanks for coming by and having tea with Linda. In case you didn't know, I'm Linda. Hi! Today we are having a brand new tea to me um, from Ido Inn, and I'm sure I said that wrong, uh, so please forgive me for that. It is a matcha green tea with a jasmine flavor. So if you've watched the channel before, I've not had a whole lot of success with um, matchas. I have not found a matcha that I enjoy at this point. Um, Honestly, to me, it all tastes like grass um, or alfalfa. Um, I, I, I'm open to it, but I just haven't found one that I appreciate. Um, so I had a viewer recommend this brand to me. And when we were at Disney World one of our times, um, when we went through the Japanese pavilion, um, they had this brand and i'm gonna butcher it again the ido in brand and i saw the matcha uh with the jasmine and i figured well if i'm gonna try it again let me try it with the jasmine flavor because perhaps i'll enjoy that so these are tea bags so we'll pull one out and it's looks like it's a foil wrapped bag and it says place the tea bag in your cup Pour hot water, uh, which is 176, over the tea bag to make sure the temperature is not boiling. Steep for 30 seconds, lightly shaking the bag three to four times for desired strength. Remove the tea bag and enjoy. Uh, and then it even gives you cold directions too. So we'll uh, turn our water back on. Um, let's see. Matcha green tea is considered Japan's most classic and popular, popular pardon me, beverage. With no added colors or flavorings, this premium green tea features a beautiful aroma of mellow yet bold taste. The unique blend of matcha and the whole tea leaves gives a rich and vibrant green fusion like no other. This says for the ingredients, it is jasmine green tea matcha, which is green tea powder. Um, all right, let me actually get the, oh, I see. <laughs> That's not smart, Linda. Um, let's see, we'll read all of this after we get to Bruin. Okay, so a nice foil lined bag. It smells like a nice jasmine tea, actually. It has a little bit of a, a grassy smell to it as well. Uh, it does look like it is in a pyramid bag. Um, so let's. Let's see what kind of damage we can do. Hey Siri, set a timer for, for how long? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Ooh, that's a quick timer, isn't it? Uh, our special pyramid filter bags allow for optimal water flow to release the full flavor characteristics and aroma of matcha green tea in your cup. Matcha is a treasured powder green tea individually used in the Japanese tea ceremony. Oh, I'm so going to say this wrong. Chido. The vibrant green tea is finely milled from high quality leaves. Matcha is made using the entire tea leaf, providing the vi- Hey Siri, stop timer. Providing the vitality and full health benefits of green tea. Exceptionally rich in nutrients, vitamin C and- Ooh. Kach kachin? antidioxidants. Matcha is revered for its distinct unami taste, the fifth sensory taste embedded for savory and subtly sweet finish. Fin ugh, finish. All right, so we've let it brew for longer than the 30 seconds at this point, and then we lightly shake three to four times. So that's two, three, four. All right, we will take and toss our bag. And we will put that right back there and I'll stick the bag here so that you can see it is a nice foil bag. Um, okay, 
So it's a little cloudy, um, but that's okay because I'm assuming that the matcha, since it's the finely milled green tea, is actually embedded with uh, in the bag, and that is what has created the cloudiness of it. Um, it just smells like a jasmine tea to me. Um, it it does have a nice color to it. It's it's yellowy green. It's it's a yellowish green. I, I it's not Mountain Dew or anything like that. It's um, darker than a Chardonnay. Uh, on the urine scale, this is you need to drink more water now. Um, gosh, I have clay all over my cups. So sorry about that. Uh, do not have a ferret hair in this one yet though. Um, <laughs> okay, this is going to sound really stupid. And if you've watched the channel a bunch, you know, this is weird for me to say. I need to let that cool a little bit. Um, it is brewed at a cooler temperature than my black teas are, and I can usually drink them right away. But for some reason, this seems hotter than that for me. And it's not because of the cup, because I've been, you know, I use these cups. I, I don't know what it is. It's, I don't know, it's very strange. Um, okay, so it's definitely a, a green jasmine tea. Um, you know, you taste the green tea to it, you taste that jasmine, and that's a nice flavor to it. Uh, but then, as it, you know, starts to roll past your tongue, um, that matcha is picked up, and it is kind of a grassy flavor to me. Uh, it's not as, it's not as grassy as some of the ones that I've had. Um, I don't know, honestly, if I'd say that I'm enjoying it. Um, I think I actually might enjoy this one more as an iced beverage. Um, it's, it is delicate. It's not sweet, but it's not not sweet. Uh, the jasmine is giving it just enough sweetness to where I don't feel like it needs to have any honey or sugar added to it. And I absolutely would not add any half and half or milk or anything to this. I think that would absolutely overwhelm and destroy the flavor of it. Um, but because of how light it is, I honestly do think it would be better as a glass of iced tea than it is a cup of hot tea. Um, especially with, with that matcha flavor, because I'm not getting it on the front, it's only on the back. Um, I think ice, this would be very good. Um, I actually may take it in the house and, and do a cup of ice. I don't do iced out here in the studio. Uh, I'm not set up for that. Yeah, I think iced is the way to go with that. Um, if you were to, if I was having tea with you and you gave this to me, I would absolutely drink it and enjoy it. Um, but would I go to reach out of, reach to get this out of my cabinet first? No. Um, but it's not bad. Um, to get the nutritional benefits of a matcha though, I'm okay with this. And I really do think I'd prefer it iced. Um, all right. Well, that's enough of that. Um, thanks for coming by and having a couple with me today. Oh, wait, I forgot to read it and I dropped my paddle. Okay. So definitely giving it a thumbs up and I would rate it a glass because uh, I think I like I said I'd enjoy it more as an iced tea so there you go thanks for coming by and having a couple with me today I really do appreciate it I hope you have an amazing rest of your afternoon and I look forward to seeing you the next time bye
you enjoy our content today? If you did, think about subscribing. Bye.